Hi and welcome to The Toon Goons, the podcast in which we take an adult and critical perspective into the world of cartoons and animation and analyze how they affect the pop cultural landscape at large. I'm one of your hosts, Nikki. I'm Tooch. And this week we have a very special guest, our friend, colleague, voice actor, voice director, professional illustrator, indie games designer, and dungeon master, Kate. Hello, everyone. <laughs> many, many titles. I wouldn't really call myself a voice director, but... <laughs> That's essentially what you're doing in Let's Read Homestuck. I guess so. Happy to be on the show. And she she just to has to be knighted, and that'll be it. That'll be everything. <laughs> <laughs> Kate Holden, OBE. <laughs> uh, this week, we are doing our, season, our Steven Universe Season 1 retrospective episode, since Steven Universe was our first episode of this show, back when there were only about 18 or 19 episodes out. So now that the first season is finished, uh, we're going to take a look back about how much we love this show. And we figured <laughs> that since Tuchnina and I have already talked about this show so much... Uh, we should get a fourth perspective on the show of somebody else who also unconditionally loves the show. <laughs> Great diverse opinions here. <laughs> As always, uh, we're going to start with some news. Nina, what you got for us? So last week we talked about, or the week before, we talked about Kid Next Door, Kids Next Door, the new series, maybe, that's happening. And between then and now, more stuff has come out about it. Um, another video came out. This time with um, number three and number four interacting with this number Vine character. But apparently, at the end of the video, they said that there is no current, like, production plan for A New Kids Next Door. And it's like a matter of fan appeal and opinion? I wasn't quite sure. I f what I gleaned from it was... This wasn't. This was gonna be an April Fool's gag. The plot of the <laughs> video in the beginning was like the the. They actually made it into a plot where like number three and four were the ones that leaked the video, and they were like, "No, you idiots! It was supposed to go up on April Fool's Day," and like Aww. so that caused everyone to believe it was real way more because it actually because people saw it before April first, and people don't even realize April Fool's Day is coming up until it's like like close to midnight on fucking February twenty ninth. So, uh, but, but then, like, they sort of, like, flipped it, because I think, I feel like Warburton was like, I'm gonna do this April Fool's joke, but then so many people are going to want it to be real that Cardinair was gonna give me another show. I feel like that's his plan. It, it seems like it worked. Yeah, because, like, then, then people started up their own, like, you know, change.org petition, which is always, <laughs> oh <my> like, <laughs> which, I mean, God. like, wow. it's, al it's always, like, that never happens, but actually, but then, like, Tom Warburton actually reblogged it, and so, like, it actually, like, yeah, so, like, I don't know. He, I think, I think he's just trying his best. He's just a man trying his best. I think I once signed a change.org petition to have Weird Al uh, play the Super Bowl halftime. I probably did that. I'll do that. <laughs> I'll sign any. I'll sign anything. Don't hand me documents. I feel like that's not what change.org is supposed to be. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> okay, so, so I mean, we'll keep an eye on this. Um, whatever it is. Yeah. If it will ever be anything, even. No. All we know is that number three said the f word, which is pretty fun. Yeah. <laughs> she said a swear. She said a swear. <laughs> all right. Next is a, another mini story about a thing that might be but might not be um, about a series that Patrick Harpin is trying to work on. For those of you who don't know, Patrick Harpin, he helped create Clarence on Cartoon Network, and he also worked on like Moos Moonrise Kingdom and other stuff. And he's trying to make a show called From Away, is what he calls it. Um, and right now he's got like a really previewy preview thing um on his tumblr page talking about it and he says it's not a kickstarter but he's looking for distribution for the rest of the series and he's already planned out the first two seasons and has begun boarding episode two uh apparently he has the entire pilot completed but looking at this little clip the animation isn't like super complete because it's just one guy, so he's kind of fudging it a little bit. 
Um, yeah, it, it's like an animatic with a lot of frames. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, like and, a, a lot, a lot more mouth action than you'd expect from an animatic, uh, but still not really fully animated. Yeah, no, not completely. I get what you're saying. Um, and he says that the reason why he's doing it is that he misses cartoons that weren't solely aimed for kids. And he was trying to prove that a, like, sort of low con, like, a, a, something like that could happen, like, again. Because um, right now the only cartoon that's not aimed for kids that's really successful, I guess, is Bob's Burgers. And I guess Archer is still successful. Rick and, um, Rick and Morty, I mean, I, that, that's more of a, that's not a huge hit. No. And I mean, McFarlane's shit is still doing well, I guess. Yeah, but he said he wanted something somewhat realistic, like King of the Hill or Early Simpsons, so. I I see. I mean, I guess that's, I don't know, Bob's Burgers falls in that, I guess. But I guess one example doesn't, like, that That only proves there's not a lot of it out there. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. So it's a rated R little preview, because there's some cussed swears. And some naked people in it. And it seems like to be semi-autobiographical because it's about a bunch of schlubs sharing an apartment in L.A., I guess. Doing, mm. I don't know, things. See, I feel, uh, yeah. Having like a, roommate antics and trying to date people. and It just sounds like a show. Like, what's... Yeah, it just sounds like a show. Why am I watching it? <laughs> like, I, I, hate to, I hate to be that way, but it's like, I don't know. Sometimes gimmicks aren't bad. <laughs> well, it sounds like a, a kind of standard show, but you got to keep in mind that with animation, you can always take it to places that you that with the same budget that you normally wouldn't be able to take a live action sitcom to uh, on a live action sitcom budget. I guess unless you're Community. I guess, yeah, but like I just feel like, but 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 even like even like even like even like live action shows have more of a draw than that. You know, like what's like I don't know. So it's because it's like, how do you pitch that? Oh, you know, it's some guys, it's some people in an, in an apartment. They 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 do funny but, things. But the hook is that it's L.A. and not New York. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I take it all back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's it's a little different than just like, oh, these guys share an apartment and antics. Like it's it's got like a kind of, from what I can tell so far, sort of, like, grit to it, almost. Like, it's not an ideal situation, and, like... I suppose. It seems to be very dialogue-based. Um, I mean, like, I'm not saying... Like, like I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying, like, I could understand why he'd be having a hard time finding people even interested. Yeah. Um, I just think it's kind of an interesting approach. Yeah, totally. Because he's like, if you want to see the full pilot... Are also interested in distributing the series? Email me, and it's like, <laughs> okay. Do you want to give me money? <laughs> Call this uh, number. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he was working on Popeye, and that fell through. So I guess, he's, yeah, some time he, he's had some time on his schedule now. Yeah, maybe he should go back to Clarence now that um, Mr. Page is out of the picture. Yeah, now that that asshole's gone. Yeah, definitely. Okay, um, next is another strange thing, <laughs> I guess. I don't know how to... It's a, the trail, the official trailer for uh, Moon, spelled M-U-N-E, has dropped for in English. And I believe it's set to premiere later this year at some point. It's a European film. Um, Which part? It's like a giant um, collaboration. So we've got, it says Moon, which was presented by co-director. It's Kinology? I don't know who Kinology is. I'm very confused because it's a very like strange film because it's got all these different things invested into it. Hmm. Um, I'm trying to let me let me the, st- let me piece this apart and come back to you. The main guy has a French looking name, Benoit. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's yeah, French. Oh. It says it's going to premiere in France first. So it's probably French. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think it's French. Yeah, it's produced by Somash Method Animation. So what's this this film about? Okay. Well, uh, the trailer gives away like the first two acts of the film, so... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it, it definitely looks like one of those films where it's going to be really, really pretty, and that's going to be the most it has to offer. Epic I don't know, too. like, I, f- I feel like at best it could also be cute. Like, it looks yeah. like a cute movie. It's about a little cute fuzzy guy who's lanky and goofy and, like, has has his destiny thrust upon him and fucks up, and... I mean, like, yeah. Alright. I, I just find it weird that, like, the... the, the, the like, the 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 misspelled moon name is actually the main character. His name is Moon, and yeah. he's chosen to be guardian of the moon. But like after the moon's already been a thing, so it's like, did he? Is this just the most greatest coincidence ever that they just named him something a word <laughs> close to the moon, and then he just was chosen as the guardian of the moon? <laughs> okay. Hey, hey this will be. This is the guy in the whatever bureaucracy is overseeing this. Hey, this will be pretty funny. Who cares? It's the moon. It's not going anywhere. It's too yeah. big. <laughs> yeah. It's... Actually, the plot is he lost it, <laughs> or something like that. What a little so, dumbass! Like, I think I think <laughs> in this, it's like it's like a fairy tale mythology world where like the the moon and sun are literally pulled by people, like how Apollo pulls it on his chariot, that sort of mythology hmm. stuff. And okay. like he breaks the string, and the moon flies away. I think. I, I, I didn't away. gather that much. All I gathered was that there's, you know, Guardian of the Sun, Guardian of the Moon, and Moon Kid's like, I don't want to do it. I didn't ask for this. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure that for. I'm sure that for like several months after the film's release, if you if you follow the tag on Tumblr, you'll see some illustrations you wish you didn't. But that'll only be for a little bit because the movie's not going to have very much lasting staying power. Yeah, I mean that was. Uh... Rise of the Guardians, wasn't it? That was yeah. like a huge thing on Tumblr for like uh, 25 days. Yep. I, mean, we'll keep... I wish I could tell you more about it, but I, for whatever reason, all the articles I can find out in are really weirdly written, <laughs> so I can't tell. Like... Are they translated from French? I don't know. I, I uh, super dig his design. Mune is cute. Yeah, he's cute. Yeah, he's cute. Um, the little wax girlfriend he has is cute. Yeah. It, it's very colorful. I mean... Apparently, it has a budget of only eighteen million euros. Well, that's so like, like five. That's like five dollars. <laughs> no, which is pretty no, it's, crazy. It's the op- it's, it's the opposite. Eighteen million euros is like two hundred million dollars. Oh, okay. It's bad in that way. I thought it was bad the other way. Never no, mind. yeah. The, I don't know what the conversion actually is, but like my well, understanding the, the is the sentence. That- the sentence said a tightly budgeted at eighteen million euros. So I assume it's not. A whole bunch. I also don't know how American movies are budgeted. Like, I don't know if 18 million is a lot in dollars. <laughs> uh, Kate, you're from Europe, technically. Um, uh, I, my country you, doesn't you actually use, it, use euros. Yeah, but like the the you're, pound you're is the, the pound is okay. kicking the dollar's ass, right? Okay. Yeah, the dollar is seriously weak right now, which okay. is an absolute pain in the ass if somebody in the U.S. commissions me. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. Okay, let me check. What's the okay. exchange rate? One euro oh. is one euro is one dollar and nine cents. Oh. Okay. I guess yeah, we're, so we're not doing as bad as we used to be. Yeah. So, yeah. Hooray! We were both wrong. Right. Okay. I don't look that. I don't. I, I'm less dumb by comparison. <laughs> Anyway, Moon is a movie that's coming out, and yeah. if you if, if like just I don't know, check it out. I don't. It's that's pretty. pretty cute. It's cute, very colorful. It's from a different country. You want a different flavor? There you go. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure it won't be as bad as what was that one? Arthur and the Mini, whatever. Arthur oh. and the Invisibles. Oh blah. <laughs> blah blah blah. Okay, and last we don't we don't have that much going on this week, from what I gathered. Which is great because we research. gotta talk about some. We we have a whole universe of shit to talk yeah. about. Here it is. All right, and just very quick, um, Masaki Yuasa's episode "Food Chain," which came out was last year, I guess. That, um, that was his episode of Adventure Time because he guested on a bunch of stuff last year. 
And by yes, bunch, so I think maybe two things. Yeah, the Adventure Time episode is headed to the 2015 Annecy International Animated Film Festival. Wow. Rad. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's uh, really well animated, but it was also really weird, even by Adventure Time standards, so I wonder how that's going to go over. Yeah, I didn't pretty... see this episode, but it, it must be pretty out there if it's weird for Adventure Time. Mostly it's really just I mean... a, it's a montage of stuff happening. It's very disjointed and surreal. Yeah, that's it's, what it's, he does. It's not really a. Pl- it's not really an episode so much as like eleven minutes of Adventure Time characters in a surreal art piece. Huh. <laughs> yeah, that's mm-hmm. kind of his style. I liked it. <laughs> I liked it too. I thought, it, and it taught you about. <laughs> <laughs> the food chain. And what was it? Where were we? Or maybe I was watching this, but somebody at a panel, uh, at the at an Adventure Time panel somewhere, asked if they would consider making another episode that was educational like that one because she really appreciated it for her kids. <laughs> wow. And I was like, wow. Don't, don't make your children think about that kind of shit when they're eating. <laughs> That's too heavy. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. They're just trying to eat their peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with the crusts cut off. They don't want to have to envision their life as, I don't know, a peanut. No, <laughs> it's important to know where that shit comes from. That's nah. how you breed ignorance. Don't tell me where <laughs> anything comes from. Just put it in my mouth. No. <laughs> I refuse. <laughs> one of these two people having this argument is a vegetarian. Guess which one? <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so that's that's about that's, it. Um, um uh, one thing that was very important to me is that Homestar Runner came back again. It's the first Yay. time since October. They had another uh, April Fool's goof, with, uh, which didn't affect me as profoundly as the last one did, but was funnier. Uh, yeah. The last it was one good. Yeah. It was, very was extremely funny. good. Uh, the last one was probably the best day of my life. Like I'll be on my on my wedding day. The bride will be walking down the altar. Like this is pretty cool, but it's still not as great as when <laughs> Homestar Runner came back after five years. <laughs> Just make sure anybody you date never listens to this specific episode. <laughs> I'm the only person on this show who listens to... Oh, Kate, you've listened to some, right? Uh, yeah, I listen occasionally, but it depends, because sometimes you guys talk about spoilers for things I haven't watched, and it's kind of like, yeah, that's oh, totally... I might want to watch that in the future. Kate, <laughs> even, if you, even if you were straight up like, I don't watch it because you guys suck, I'd be like, that's fair. <laughs> oh. I don't. No, it just means like it, it doesn't affect me. This show, this to- this show's too fun for me to care if anybody else listens to it. So yeah, Homestar Runner came back. Uh, I, I this time I also saw it coming because there were two like slight updates to the site. They'd moved their store over and they ch- put a YouTube link on the nav bar at the bottom. Mm. Uh, so I mean, hopefully some more stuff's coming soon. But like, yeah, it, they're so. never going to go back to weekly updates. No. It's no, just no. not happening. Absolutely I, I wonder not. if they, they have are real going jobs. to move more onto YouTube now rather than mainly being because Flash is kind of archaic these that, days. That was the goof in, in in the cartoon. It's like, oh, I can't wait to go to my favorite website and it's going to pretend it's from a different time period. And Homestar's like, oh, it looks like one of those flashy websites from 2002. Yeah. No, <laughs> shut up. I haven't changed it yet. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, it's, it's interesting. I, I do wonder... Uh, yeah, I miss yeah, being it, able to pause videos. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I mean, I, <laughs> that, that was the thing. There was no like playback options. You can't pause them. Uh, but at the same time, if it was all on YouTube, I'd miss all of the little things you can click during them. All of the yeah. little, like hidden yeah. bits and bobs, and like it's a real yeah. trade off. Th- that's why they're they're releasing it on both. Uh, uh, you know, mm. like or at least a lo- almost all they have an official YouTube account. Uh, it's homestarrunner.com, like D-O-T com. Yeah. And um, almost everything's on there, if yeah. not everything. And, like, the the newest stuff from last year and this year has been, like, simultaneously released on both. So you, oh, so you cool. get you get both of it. Because, I mean, Homestar Runner was pre-YouTube. It's so weird oh, to yeah. remember that that wasn't that long ago. Like... I don't know. It, it feels... It, I was only in it, high school when YouTube was a thing. That was not even yeah. ten years ago. It's... Uh, time time yeah. is faster. I, I remember watching Homestar Runner in university. Like, it'd be like, oh, whoa, oh, guys, guys, new Homestar Runner. Everybody rushes into somebody's room and crowds around the computer to watch the new Strong Bad email together. Yeah. Aww. And that was the thing. This yeah. one was the first Strong Bad email since 2009's videography. Yeah. Good lord. 
Oh dear. I like to think I like that they made another danger esque three joke. <laughs> yeah, I mean, another danger esque joke, and like after f- three emails with the compe, he's just got a, they're just going back to the yeah. lappies. <laughs> Yeah, uh, right. y- YouTube uh, started in 2005. Like, uh, this February was its 10-year anniversary. It is a baby Dang. website. Wow. A baby. And it, and it changed everything. Mm. Yeah. Well, anyway. All right. Uh, so let's again, get... if you find any news stories out and about and you want to share it with us, please go ahead and do that on our email or our Tumblr page or wherever. We need news. Otherwise, we're just going to keep talking about Homestar Runner. <laughs> or Guilty Gear. Or, or Guilty whatever. Gear. I had to cut out literally eight minutes of Nina and I talking about Guilty Gear last week. And, like, as I'm talking, <laughs> as I'm talking, I'm like, we have to stop talking about Guilty Gear. But I can't stop talking about Guilty Gear. I love it so much. Anyway, right. before we start talking about Guilty Gear again. I was about to ask Kate was about a- Guilty Gear. <laughs> <laughs> nope, not I happening. About to say, I was about along. to say, I was about to say, you know what else I love a lot? Steven Universe. Yeah. Yes. Okay.